Here's how to use Modeler version 1.21 with an MPE controller. Click on the logo in the upper left-hand corner of the interface to bring up the settings dialog. You'll see there are two new parameters on this dialog, MIDI mode and MPE note bend range. Change the MIDI mode to MPE and set the MPE note bend range to match the bend range of your controller. If you're using the standalone version as I am here, you should also make sure your controller is activated. If you're using one of the plugins, you'll need to do that in your host application. If your MP controller has a global pitch bender in addition to per note bend, the range of that pitch bender is set here on the main parameter page and it can change with every patch. You don't need to make any adjustments to your MP controller for that. You might notice that the modulation output section looks a little different in MPE mode than it does in classic mode. That's because MPE supports different types of modulation than classic MIDI. Modulation assignments are mapped between classic and MPE outputs so that most patches will work more or less the same way in either mode. In MPE mode, timbre slash Y replaces classic modulation source and gets all modulation assignments from that source. Similarly, pressure slash Z replaces classic pressure and gets all those modulation assignments. The MPE source name modulation refers to the mod wheel or mod control that you might have on your MPE controller, and this is unique to MPE. Release velocity is also unique to MPE, and all the other modulation sources are exactly the same between MPE and classic modes. I hope you enjoy using the modeler with your MPE controller.